and gentlemen, the time has come to turn the page to a new chapter in the 135 years of heavyweight world championship boxing. So fight fans, let's get this party started! Coming to the ring first, the challenger, Alexander Usy.
fabulous September setting in Tottenham stunning stadium and there will be an eruption a cacophony of noise in this treasure chest of high-end acoustics in N17 when Anthony Olofemwe Alassini Joshua walks out to battle and hundreds of thousands flock to see him fight live. Usyk waits and now Anthony Joshua starts running. The fans are back in a big way on a special return, Matt, for blockbuster boxing. We talked about how Usyk is going to be better than he's ever been if he's to dethrone Anthony Joshua. But likewise, Anthony Joshua is going to be absolutely at the top of his game and, and even better than that if he's to solve the puzzle than he's Alexander Usyk. Stadium, London, England, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing proudly presents the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight 
Championship of the World. Presented in association with K2 Promotions, AJ Boxing, 258 Management, and U617 Promotions. Sponsored by William Hill, StubHub, and JD Sports. And sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Charles Giles. Sanctioned along with the IBF, the IBO, the WBA, and the WBO. The officials assigned to ringside, timekeeper Stephen Pucci. The three judges scoring from Ukraine, Viktor Fischeko. From England, Howard Foster. And from the United States, Steve Weisfeld. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your World Championship veteran referee, Michael Alexander. And now, the officials are in place, and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. Boxing fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Waiting out of the red corner with his trainer, Yuri Takchenko, wearing white with blue. Official weight, 221, one quarter pounds. His professional record is a perfect one. Consisting of 18 fights, 18 victories, 13 wins by knockout. He's an Olympic gold medal champion, fighting out of and representing all the people of Ukraine. The former undisputed, undefeated, cruiserweight champion of the world, the number one WBO ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Alexander Lucy. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue trail hunter with his trainer, Rob McCracken, wearing white and officially weighing in at 240 pounds. This Olympic gold medal champion now has a professional record consisting of 25 fights, 24 victories, including 22 big wins by knockout, with only one defeat. And that one defeat was avenged, thereby making him a champion who has defeated every man he's ever faced in the ring. From London, the heavyweight fighting pride of England, the reigning defending Joshua. of electricity through N17, 67,000 and a special stadium blend to provide one of the most incredible atmospheres in modern boxing times, a crackling cauldron here at Tottenham for the most coveted prize, the famed heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Joshua to centre ring, now Alexander Usyk. So let's just have a good, clean fight, OK? Most of all, remember to defend yourself at all times, all right? Just one. Keep it. A tremendous showdown in the Blue Ribbon division. Light the touch paper. Will size matter? Is AJ a more improved boxer of late? Can Usyk's sound poor precision stun the British crowd? Joshua's power, Usyk's chin. 
And with AJ's new love of chess and Oleksandr's intelligence, Matt, will we have a tactical tussle? Well, straight away, Usu looking to land that backhand. He's light on his feet, bouncing on his toes, faints. Joshua, good hand speed from him, straight right hand, trying to go to the body. It was a lovely left hand from Usyk, fast out of the blocks. And trying to get centre ring here, which is interesting. 20 foot inside. Should favour Joshua with the longer arms and the big right hand that he tries to deliver in the first minute of this highly anticipated matchup right at the top of the heavyweight world. Fury and Wilder follow in a couple of weeks. First, we have this. How will it unfold? Right now, both men are lead hands as cancel out each other's. To try to get into position to land the backhand. Left hand to the body from Usyk, who's not on his bike. He's not backpedaling. Right hand just clips against the jaw of Usyk, who's never been down, amateur or pro. But he was stopped on his feet by Matt Korobov, back at middleweight. He's obviously a blown-up heavyweight, but he's taken his time. And he's waited patiently for this chance. Joshua looking to jab the body. Usyk tried the backhand to the body. Cagey start by, oh, good left hand from Usyk. Beautiful, right down the pipe from Alexander Usyk. Tries that again. Joshua light on his feet, but what about the upper body movement? Usyk is in and out. Such a clever fighter, Matt. Yeah, he's constantly making you work, constantly changing angle, he's using feints. Joshua pouring with the jab. And Usyk pouring with the uppercut. I see a bit more head movement from Joshua. Give a few more feints as well from him. Just drive that right hand into the chest area. Usyk winning the battle of the backhand so far. And the bright eyes of Alexander Usyk. Takes the first round. Yeah, lovely backhand there from Usyk, just steps into range, quicker feet. You know, just snaps the head back a little bit of Joshua. McCracken, who's guided Anthony Joshua for so long, ably supported now by Angel Fernandez and Joby Clayton, who've added some things to the camp post the Ruiz defeat. The white of Anthony Joshua and the white and blue, the Ukrainian colours of Alexander Usyk, this 34-year-old, 335 wins as an amateur and undefeated in 18 and is he faced by the big crowd in the stadium not one little bit Usyk not one bit he, uh, he started the better he's settled his head movement's good he's fainting good he's quick with his feet in and out I think Joshua's just got to settle now a bit more upper body movement from him a few more feints as well and then his hands go a little bit more too just jab that body settle into it even double jab to the body right hand to the body even to the chest area because Usyk with that upper body movement is a difficult target so just hit the chest to start with Usyk at a career heavy as 15, 11, 4. I think it was good though that he didn't come in over 16 stone. Joshua 17, 2 again. He's settled around that weight now. 
weeks and weeks of sparring southpaws, but none quite like Usyk, who's done 15 round sessions, four minute rounds, with 30 second breaks, Alexander Usyk in his build up. Good work from Joshua. Yeah, constantly fainting Usyk. Changing angle as well, not allowing Joshua to get set. He's not, he's, there's no stationary target there with Usyk. He's constantly on the move. That's why I think Joshua just wants to focus on maybe the chest area at the minute. Just keep driving that jab and straight right hand into the chest of Usyk. Trying out the body shots, Usyk as well. Andy Ruiz used that very well in the middle rounds in the garden in New York. But we saw against Kubrat Pulev. What a puncher Anthony Joshua can be. Had him down in the third. And then outbox him and punished him late on. So the power is there, start to finish. Yeah, well, this isn't about power right now. This is about speed. This is about ring IQ. This is about trying to lure the other guy into making a mistake. Good left hand again from Usyk, partially blocked. Joshua trying to get his jab going. But it's this constant mobility, angles, this ring craft of Usyk. But I think Joshua's doing the right thing as well as in his, you know, early on while the lighter man is the faster man, he's gonna have that little edge and speed until you get used to it. So he's just, you know, damage limitations here, give nothing away, take whatever he gives you. Well, that jab getting closer that from Joshua. Still the wand of the left hand from Usyk, problematic. Don't put back in the straight line using front through the middle, all right? Usyk looks to parry and block as well, move side to side. Front hand control with a jab a little bit more now, OK? Right hand should follow it, your left up counter, OK? He comes over the front foot. Yuri Trachenko in the corner, saying a lap and no Papa Lomachenko, but Sam Vasily is here ringside along with Vitaly Klitschko to support that Ukrainian man, the southpaw from Kiev, father of three, Anthony Joshua, father of one, JJ. Locked away in Sheffield, and the odd trip down to Finchley ABC for Joshua, but it's been a hard camp for Usyk. Out in the Olympic headquarters, outside of Kiev. Hasn't looked great at heavyweight so far against Witherspoon and Chisora. People thought maybe he's not going to be a success, but boxing is about stylistic matches, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, he started really well here, but... I always think again, oh, good, good shot from Usyk there. But I always think against a, a faster guy, speed, that's their best answer early on. Then you get, until you get the time and you get used to that speed, it's almost like you've got to acclimatise that speed. And at the minute, the, the speed and the movement is struggling. Joshua's struggling with it a little bit. So I think it's a case of staying tight defensively, damage limitations, and look to build on as the fight progresses. Look at that from Usyk, so clever. In and out. Joshua didn't see that one coming. Very, very classy boxer, Alexander Rusik. I think a lot of people in the build-up, maybe the casual fans, thinking it's not Fury. Therefore, Joshua's got an easy a touch. This is a mandatory, and this guy is one of the pound-for-pound -pound best, Usyk. Yeah, and he's a boxer trick, so, you know, Joshua's got to work him out, so he's just got to take his time, use the feints, stay nice and tight defensively. And look to build on his early six, you know, Usyk's landing the body shots. Joshua's going to try and time him with that right hand. Now the jab from Usyk. Finding scoring punches. And in and out.
what Joshua, what Joshua doesn't want to fall into the trap of. He doesn't want to start overthinking it, drop, hesitating. He's just going to let his hands go. That's better for him. Just throw that straight right hand out there. Don't load up on it. Just pop it out. Hours and hours of playing chess as well in the build-up. Joshua, strategic battles, so competitive. Good shot, though, from Alexander Rusik. And again, tries to target the Joshua body. It's impressive so far from the challenge oh, of the year. From a beautiful shot, and Joshua's hurt here in the third round. The third round in New York was when it all started to go wrong against Andy Ruiz. And Alexander Rusik is looking very strong, but Joshua comes back with a and now the crowd start to really feel this come alive and respect between the pair as there has been that all week all week but right now Joshua is struggling with the speed and the movement and the feints and the in and out with the feet of Usyk that's why I think right now it's a case of damage limitations don't try and match him for speed don't get into that in and out game of chess just stay tight defensively take whatever Joshua whatever Usyk gives you don't try and force it You've got to stay tight defensively. In these early rounds, he's going to have the better of the action because he's got the, the upper hand in speed. Anthony's actually watching these replays as they go through. Is he thinking, why do they get hit by that? What? Is he a little confused in there about tactics because they've been getting him to practice his boxing. He's looking down at Tony Bellew, who's just behind us at ringside. Just looks a little shaken to me, AJ. But he loves the challenge. Just a balance, slip. Just yeah. balance there. It's not a great deal of confidence, though, in the body language of Joshua as he comes out for the fourth round and Usyk light on his feet. This southpaw, the master craftsman, and remember Joshua has only ever had a round and a half of professional experience against a southpaw and was stopped by Mihal Mista, the Romanian port sider in the amateurs. Yeah, it's been a really fast, sharp, positive start from Usyk, but I expected that Joshua's going to just settle into this fight. It's very difficult boxing a smaller guy who's a boxer tricks anyway, and he's got the edge and he's got an advantage of speed, angles, all the rest of it. So early, early doors, you've got to let the, let the sting leave him a little bit, make him work, stay tight, don't give too much away, and then look to build on middle, middle, in the middle rounds of the fight. I thought Fraser Clark made a very good point earlier on, though, about the big man, the little man, and how conditioning's improved, and the little men are not so little anymore. They're very strong. He's at home at the moment in there, Alexander Rusik. to control that distance and again work the body it's intriguing this isn't it really you can't take your eyes off the movement of the feet man yeah Joshua just needs to be a little bit lighter on his feet just try and bounce on his toes a little bit a bit of upper body movement as well get a bit of rhythm going double up that jab drive the straight right hand and even if you hit the chest even if you hit his arms and gloves you just get your distance find that distance Joshua. <laughs> Left you know, hand though from Usyk back. Usyk started really sharp here, but the speed will leave him, the sting will go out of him in a little bit. Joshua's just going to be patient here. Let Are you the sure? sting leave Usyk. I hope so. <laughs> Lighter on his feet, Joshua. KG. Fourth round. That's better. Yep. As he finds his range with that one two, that jackhammer right that has knocked out so many opponents, amateur and pro. 
Yeah, a bit better there from Joshua. Back end of that one. Just a bit, just a little bit more smart pressure, okay? Make him work, make him move his feet. That jab's got to be followed by the right hand now. When you're inside, whip it underneath, okay? You see the backhand, the, yeah. The, it's the speed of foot as well for Musik. He's in and out, he's from side to side. So I think that Joshua's not going to be able to match him for speed early. So I think, like I say, early on, it's just a case of damage limitations. Don't give too much away. Take whatever he gives you. And you look to come on in the second half of the fight, even in the middle rounds. Right now, you know, we're four rounds down and Musik's in charge here. But I don't think he's going to keep that, uh, that level of speed up for the whole 12 rounds. Second he can't give these rounds away, can he? Joshua, at some point, he's probably going to have to throw caution to the wind. It's the fifth round when it all started to electrify at Wembley against Vladimir Klitschko, didn't it? Alexander Rusik still looking for that left hand. Head and body pepper away. I think Joshua needs to just punch out the jab more. Yeah, I think double up on that jab and push the right hand in as well. You've got to be careful pulling out Joshua because Usyk's very quick at coming back in there with his feet. Executed the game plan perfectly in the rematch with Andy Ruiz out in Saudi. That was a a W at all costs after what happened in America in the summer of 2019. Only defeat for Joshua as a pro. Usyk yet to taste that. He's a winner. Always has been. Another body shot from Usyk. Yeah, good body shot from Usyk, good backhand there too, doubling up on that backhand. And the left there, Joshua tries to get a little bit rough, and maybe he needs to do that because he's being outboxed here by Usyk. Now Joshua gets a body shot in. Yeah, I think Joshua should just focus on the body. You've got the upper body movement of Usyk, so it's difficult. He's a moving target. Just double jab, keep double jab, right hand. Keep driving it into the chest and step to him after it. He's got to slow him down, hasn't he? Try and take some of the legs away. Back him up, maybe, into corners, into ropes as the fight ticks on. Good right hand. Very good. After the Usyk left. Nice response from Anthony Joshua. And there. A solid right hand, and Usyk with a wry smile. This is better from Joshua. Nice jab from Usyk. An entertaining fifth round here with the WBA Super, IBF, and WBO heavyweight titles on the line at Tottenham. I think Joshua's got to be careful pulling out. I'd rather he stand his ground, catch the shot on the gloves, then counter, catch and counter rather than pulling out. When he pulls out, he picks up, and Joshua uh, Usyk's catching him. That's better. Oh. And there's danger because they're both staying in punching range. And a great shot from Joshua. That heavyweight power, much better from the Brit. And Alexander Usyk just looks slightly weary as he goes back to his stool. Best round of the fight for Joshua. It's a 12-round championship fight. I think we're at the point, though, where, where Joshua now, he, he's better off walking, you know, trying to cut the ring down, let Usyk move, do all the moving, let him burn up the energy, and when Usyk steps in, throws his shot, catch them and fire back with the counters. I think when he tries to pull out, he's picking up, and Usyk's got the quicker feet. He's making him feel under, under threat, under pressure. Corners, two seconds. <laughs> Second round six. Better from Joshua. Igor Flimitz and uh, Alex.
Alex Kratiak so confident that their man was all wrong for Anthony Joshua, style-wise. But the big training team around Joshua in Sheffield, the conditioner, Jamie Reynolds, the trainers of Rob McCracken, Angel Fernandez, Joby Clayton, the camp manager, the guru, KD. Benga, his cousin in there. Such a tight-knit team. Usyk as well has that. People that have been around him for a very long time. The two elite athletes at the very pinnacle. Yeah, Joshua using his right hand a bit more now, which is good, but, you know, there's a good jab again from Usyk, and the body shot from Usyk have been good as well. Fainting again, Usyk in this sixth round. How many rounds did he win in a row? on the three judges card maybe the first four yeah i think so better in the fifth from joshua just starting to get that jab going he's got the huge reach 82 inch four inches more than Usyk, and of course the power 22 knockouts in those 24 victories on his bike a little bit more Usyk as Joshua tries to hold centre ring and for the first time he just says he might try and back him up, pin him yeah Usyk circling here I don't think Joshua should pressure him I think he should just hold the centre of the ring let Usyk do all the work with his feet circle away and then when it comes catch, catch him counter Cat and mouse at times. Usyk's nickname of the cat. I see, I see Joshua double up on that jab and then drive that right hand into the body. Lovely shot. Beautiful shot. Lesson to the roars of the crowd here at Tottenham. Sweet from the right hand of Anthony Joshua. Alexander Usyk felt it, took it. How good is the chin? It's held up all the way through his career. But this is different, this is up at heavyweight. Remember, an Olympic gold medalist at super heavyweight compared to heavyweight. And you just sense that might be starting to come into play. Andy Clark alongside us, how are you seeing it? Well, through six rounds, I've got it 4-2 for Alexander Usyk. An absolutely engrossing fight to watch. He's turning and moving very, very well, Usyk, in those first four rounds, as we expected he would do, with staying in punching range and finding those angles, particularly with that straight southpaw left hand. Round four, I thought, was very tight, but I edged it to Usyk. The fifth and the sixth, Joshua, quite simply, has just managed to land more. He's been a little bit more confident with that straight right hand. He's done slightly better work with the jab. Maybe Usyk's speed is slowing down. Good. Just a little bit, but halfway through of what is just an enormously absorbing fight to watch. I've got it 4 2 Usyk. Tantalizing, absorbing, compelling. All of those words, and I agree with Andy. I think the confidence just returned to Anthony Joshua. But Alexander Usyk with a quick start to the second half of this world heavyweight. Titles at stake, every one of them apart from Tyson Fury's WBC belt. He'll be watching this, hoping that Joshua comes through for the big bonanza. But he's got work of his own in a fortnight in the trilogy with Deontay Wilder, who fancies it big time. Yeah, I think look, Usyk started so fast here, but a good shot again from uh, Usyk and Joshua landed at the same time. Good jab from Usyk, good right hand from Joshua, but I think Joshua certainly looks to himself more now these last couple of rounds, landed some good right hands, he's, he's starting to time Usyk now. Good upper body movement from Joshua, and I wonder if he is starting to read Usyk better. All of that southpaw sparring, can't match what you actually get in the ring.
And also Usyk's, you know, good fast start, but he's also used up a lot of energy in those first few rounds. Good left hand from Usyk. There's certainly a more solid feel with Anthony Joshua planting that front foot when he needs to. The jab's better. Yeah, the right hands as well. Good left hook from Joshua. Good left hook from Usyk. Yeah, beautiful. Repost from the southpaw. Usyk still looking for that body. Can you call a winner at this stage? Very difficult to pick a winner here. I mean, Usyk started so well. Joshua definitely coming back into it. But again, Usyk landing good shots. He enjoyed it there, Joshua. Picking his wits in the squared circle against one of the finest technicians in recent years. Joshua's got to watch that looping left hand that Usyk likes to throw. He gives you a few down the middle. Good shot from Usyk. Stumble back, Joshua regains his composure. Usyk's very good at giving you the left hands down the middle, body and head, bringing you, and then looks to loop you around the side as he, as he just tried then. I think the first thing, he, he trod on his foot, maybe a bit of a balance, but certainly good work from Alexander Usyk. Back end of the seventh, giving him a little lift. Yeah, big confidence. round from Usyk. Great response after Joshua having two good rounds. Not really the accuracy in the seventh from Joshua. Kidology at the bell. Well, just when uh, Joshua's supporters probably felt, yeah, a couple of rounds back, suddenly Usyk delivers some really neat stuff in the seventh. Yeah, really good round there from Usyk. Great response from him after Joshua having a couple of good rounds. I mean, that left hand there, that was that was a balanced shot. Uh, Joshua was just off balance there. But he did land some really good stuff in that round there, uh, Usyk. He gives you those straight lefts down the middle, head, body, and then he loops one round the side and you don't expect it. Eighth round, remarkably only the 120th of Anthony Joshua's pro career. Eight years he's been around, same two, Alexander Rusi. They've almost mirrored each other, but just not at the same weight. Now they are. 152nd round for Alexander Usyk. He hasn't lost many of them. No, he's worked hard here, Usyk. He's you know, used up a lot of energy in these seven rounds. You'd like to think that the, the sting is going to leave him a little bit, and the strength of Joshua will could become more of a factor now as the pace slows a little bit. Late stoppages in recent years. For Joshua, Vladimir Klitschko in 11, Carlos Takam in 10, Alexander Povetkin in 7, Kubrat Pulev in 9. But Alexander Rusik still looking very comfortable and strong at heavyweight on the move and in front here. Yeah, still bouncing on his toes, still fainting, still moving, still looking to drive those backhands into the body. Joshua trying to go with the lead right hand there, just falling short. Again, looking for that looping right hand. Usyk blocked it on the gloves. Again, this is good, though, for Joshua. He's letting that right hand go more. He's not hesitating. He's not overthinking it. He's throwing it with more regularity. Pulling the trigger on it now, Joshua. Again, looks for that right hand. Just fell short again. Better from Joshua. And a body shot. Was good yeah, from the good. Grip. Good work from Joshua. He's letting his hands go more now. And can he manhandle Usyk in the latter stages? Many people thought at this point, with maybe a fast start from Usyk, can Joshua come on strong?
Left hand back from Usyk. We have the body shot slightly low, but he's got to try anything he can in there now to Dent Usyk, who's still boxing with some fluency here. Yeah, good intensity coming from uh, good good tempo from Usyk. Letting both hands go left and right. Missed with a couple of big hooks there. Certainly more success with that right hand from Joshua. And the body shot as well. Back comes Usyk with the left hand. Extraordinary intense preparation, the pair of them. What they've gone through for this moment. Again, Joshua looking for the right hook to the body. Michael Alexander just telling him to keep it out. And again, the right hand tries to sink it in under that elbow of Usyk, who's marked up under the eye. Just breathing heavier at the end of that. Other body shots from Joshua and those right hands and the natural strength advantage beginning to have a real part here as we enter the championship rounds. Yeah, I think when you're coming into the later part of the fight, that extra strength, that's where it really starts to kick in for you. That's where it's, 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 that it's you know, really uh, an advantage for you early on. Speed is the biggest that thing you can have. But as fatigue kicks in and the speed starts to leave Usyk a little bit, you know, you'd like to think the strength of Joshua, that'll really give him the advantage now coming into these last few rounds. Darren Barker alongside us has got it level, the fight. I've got Usyk to what? You have Usyk up, I have Usyk in the lead, Andy Clark has Usyk in the lead. Subjective, as always, but Alexander Usyk, for us, has the advantage. How much by? Who knows? Three judges at ringside. All that matters should it go the distance. Victor Fasecho from the Ukraine. Howard Foster, of course, and just in front of us, Steve Weisfeld. Very good judge from America. But it's, it's, it's the pattern of the fight, what way the direction the fight is going. You know, I gave Usyk the first four, I've given Joshua three up the last four, so on that basis, Joshua's having more success now. Still in the melting pot, in the balance. This world heavyweight title fight. The boxing event of the year with fans back and how we've missed you. You know, the right hands of Joshua are working better now. The counter right hands, the lead right hands. Usyk still bouncing on his toes though, still fainting. Just a feeling during fight week of people swaying towards Alexander Rusik. Much calmer, wasn't he? Not up to his usual tricks. Very focused. This is his dream. This is the one opportunity he's worked many, many years for to conquer the heavyweight division as well as the cruiserweights. Only Evander Holyfield and David Hay have managed that. They're constantly a moving target here, Rusik. Head movement, foot movement, in and out. Looking for that counter right hand over the top of the jab of Joshua. Rusik's certainly been the busier of the two in this round. Hasn't slowed at all, Alexander Rusik, and that might have surprised Team Joshua. A bag of tricks, mobile, agile, and boxing at times absolutely beautifully. The craftsman from the Ukraine. Anyone that thought this was going to be easy for Anthony Joshua, well, you can see why people have raved about Usyk in Eastern Europe and in the trade for the last 10, 12 years. 
He's top draw, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. A master technician. Joshua. Corners, two seconds. Could he be three rounds down on the cards? There's three to go. Set up. Last nine oh, minutes, two. crucial here. If Anthony Joshua is going to hold on to his world heavyweight titles, Alexander Usyk aiming to become one of the only Southpaw world heavyweight champions. Michael Mora was an excellent one. He beat Evander Holyfield. Few gave him a chance that night. Charles Martin, his quick reign as a Southport champion. Usyk aiming to be the next, but still plenty of time for Joshua to detonate one or two of his big bombs. But Usyk still looks fluid and relaxed to me, Matt. Yeah, same here. I, I think Joshua needs these last three rounds. I think he's really just got to let his hands go now. Good jab there from Usyk. I think Joshua's just got to let double up on that jab, throw that right hand in behind it. Is it almost caution to the wind time? A little bit. I think he just, you know, he can't overthink it. A bit of swelling there under the right eye of, uh, of Joshua. But he's got to throw more combination, double up on that jab, even three jabs, push him back behind the jab, drive the right hand in as well. Step to him then. Drive the body when Usyk comes in and he throws that left hand, catch it and fire right hand back. He's got a right hand there from Joshua. He needs more of that. And happy to test himself against the very best Anthony Joshua. Win or lose, that's his mantra now. He wants to take on all the great fighters and this is one in Alexander Usyk. Crassio's words at the weigh-in ringing in my ears that Usyk's all wrong for Joshua but he is cut late on just above the right eye well that spurred Joshua on to put his foot on the pedal and really try and find some combinations to nail Usyk who's not happy about that cut I think Joshua's just going to take it to Usyk now I would back up one the, the, Take a backward step now, just catch and counter. Walk Usyk down, catch and counter. And the shot's gone. Take it on the gloves and fire them straight right hand, straight back at him. Body or head. Yeah, the blood dripping from Alexander Usyk is definitely a sign. Joshua lied on his feet. But still, that left hand, the back hand. It's worked a treat for Usyk. And Joshua. Attempting to get close. And that swelling is bad as well for Joshua. Right eye. It's gone right up. They're going to have to work on that in the corner. Damage on Usyk's side as well. Joshua trying the right hand just falling short. It's not as bad, Matt. The swelling on Joshua's right eye is very nasty. Smart now, Josh. When he attacks you, defend it and counter it, okay? Come on, we've only got 60 years, okay? Relax. Have a cough, relax. Listen, 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 relax. Stay behind that jab. Move it. 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 Move it.
Blood, drama, an intense, intriguing spectacle here at Tottenham. Look how fast Alexander Usyk is out of the traps for the 11th. He hasn't slowed, Matt. No, he hasn't. I, I, but I think this is where Joshua's just got to meet him in the middle, stand his ground as soon as Usyk comes, fire back. I think Usyk fancies this now. He's starting to plant his feet, the Ukrainian. But I think Joshua, good right hand from Joshua. That's good work from him. I think Joshua's legs are too tired now for the in and out game. He needs to just stand his ground. And when Usyk comes into range, fire back. One, two, straight down the middle now. That's what Joshua needs to do. Good work from Joshua. Into the 11th. This is where he had his great moment at Wembley. 90,000 there as he dismantled Vladimir Klitschko late on. But Elder Brunavitali watching on, supporting Alexander Rusik and Joshua trying to get that right hand going. Is it now or never? Yeah, the right hands are working well. This is what he needs to do, he just, but he needs to throw more rather than he needs to double up on that right hand. He needs to throw two of them, throw right hand, step in, another right hand. He's tried the body shots. The right hands that have been partially blocked by Usyk, in and out of range, judging the distance. He's, he's touching with the jab, faint with the jab, he needs to step in with the right hand, needs to double up on that right hand. And he's still worried about the left hand, the backhand coming at him. Remains light on his feet, Usyk. He's, really, he's got to commit to it though, Joshua, when he throws that right hand, he's got to step in with it. And again, Usyk putting punches in bunches together. Yeah, good work from Usyk, like I say, he's step, Usyk stepping in behind that left hand, he's throwing one left hand, stepping in and throwing it again, Just double a, left hand. A tired look to Joshua there. Good right hand though from Joshua. Digging deep here, Anthony Joshua. Both men feeling the pace here. He says, come on, engage, and will Usyk. And how the judges got it, for us, Usyk get a handy, handy lead. Yeah, Joshua's got to step in here, like I say, the good right hook from Usyk. Usyk faints in, stepping in, and he's doubling up that left hand when he comes in as well. He really, when Usyk throws it, he really commits to it, he comes in behind it. Left hand from Alexander Usyk. Getting home. It's very tough for Anthony Joshua. Both men tired. But surely it's a knockout in the 12th round for British fight fans, or the titles are going back to the Ukraine. And look at the support for Alexander Rusik, who's been absolutely brilliant tonight. Yeah, first-class boxing performance from Rusik. He started really quickly. Great left hands to the body, lots of feints, lots of head movement, lots of lateral movement. Wasn't a stationary target whatsoever. Didn't really allow Joshua to get into it until around five or six, seven. That's what Joshua did have some good rounds. But again, Rusik's have found another gear now. And I don't know if Joshua has got the energy at this stage. He needs a knockout on my court card. I don't know how you're seeing it, Adam. I've got Alexander Usyk in a comfortable lead. So is Andy Clark. Others might have it closer. Three judges, all that matters. But there's three minutes left. And listen to the crowd at Tottenham Hotspur. A wonderful night for heavyweight boxing because you're seeing top class real quality Anthony Joshua's had his moments he's won his rounds but Andy he's not won enough has he I don't think so, no. He came into the fight in the mid-stages in rounds five and six, but then Usyk had a good seventh round. I think that was important because he just managed to put a block on that momentum that Joshua had managed to build. He has had pockets of success, Anthony Joshua, but Usyk has been busy all the way through. He's been accurate, he's boxed to an excellent plan, and he's executed it very, very well. Yeah, Joshua looks dangerous with the right hand in patches, but Usyk just... 
busier, more accurate. And, and I just think Josh was struggling to find the target of Usyk, the head movement, the lateral movement, the feints. And a naturally lighter man with the punch output, busy, accurate. Joshua putting everything into it, but realising too what an excellent craftsman Alexander Usyk is. Side to side, still peppering him with left hands. Have to commend the conditioning of Usyk as well to do this and to sustain it for the 12 rounds at this pace. He has not stood still for the whole, whole 12 rounds. There is a rematch clause, and Alexander Usyk agreed to it to take this fight as he starts to really unload his punches on Anthony Joshua and finishing strongly Usyk as well as starting brilliantly. Sweet science, the art of boxing, styles make fights. And Alexander Usyk has got this right tonight. Yeah, the movement, the speed, the body shots, the fainting, and the, the lateral movement, changing angles, variety. It's so hard to read, but just, just hasn't been able to get the read of him. Like Andy said, he, he had a good fifth and sixth, Joshua, but then the seventh round was crucial for Usyk because it broke the, the change in direction of, of, of the way the fight was going. Good shots again from Usyk here. 40 seconds left. Is this the end of Anthony Joshua's second reign as world heavyweight champion? Remember, Lennox Lewis came back and won it a third time. Will AJ have to do that in a rematch? How have the judges got it for me, for you? For us at ringside, Alexander Usyk has put on a superb performance, a fantastic boxing display, and look at this finish, and Joshua could be taken out late here, and the referee looking in, five seconds left, and Anthony Joshua was right at the end, and he survives, Alexander Usyk falls to his knees, Surely a wonderful night for Ukraine, for Team Usyk, for the underdog, for the Olympic heavyweight champion who's surely beaten the Olympic super heavyweight champion back in London in the lion's den. Incredible from Usyk, competitive, tough, brave. Joshua tried everything. But, Alexander Usyk, take your hat off to this man. Usyk oozed class. Unbelievable performance from Alexander Usyk. He started so quickly, came out the blocks. Unbelievable performance early on from Usyk. Middle rounds, 5-6, Joshua came back into it. I thought maybe the tide had turned, but then Usyk had a big seventh. And then after that, Usyk just finished so strong. Just blinking Anthony Joshua in that blue corner, the eye was swollen, the right eye, he had a very torrid 12th round, where I think if he had gone on another 30 seconds or minute or so, maybe Usyk would even have got the stoppage, but he's gone over to see him, Alexander Usyk in the corner, and Anthony Joshua, the classy, classic gentleman that he is, and he'll be full of respect and praise for Usyk. Just a bit bewildered and they just want to keep an eye on him, the doctors in the corner. Anthony Joshua, what a 12 rounds and a titanic effort from the pair of them. And it was a bit of a chess match and it was boxing at its finest. It was a masterclass from Usyk, it really was. You know, I wondered early on, when, when the, in rounds five and six, when, uh, when um, Joshua did come back into it, I wonder did he was the tight starting to turn. He, he, he used a lot of energy up early doors, Usyk, and I thought maybe Joshua was going to get back into it, but then Usyk found another gear. Tony Bellew, a great mate of Anthony Joshua, just went and gave a huge hug and kiss to Alexander Usyk, who was so close to. Well, finishing it off possibly with a, a stoppage victory, but Joshua, I think, deserved to hear the final bell. We don't know how the judges have got it. We can only see one way, but it is up to the three 
at ringside. I, I no think luck. Joshua was, was shattered more than anything in that last round, more than he was hurt by a point. He was just, he, I mean, it was a shot that got it going, but he was so tired at that stage. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Victor Feschenko scores it 117 to 112. Steve Weisfeld has it 116 to 112. And Howard Foster scores it 115 to 113. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And new to become only the third cruiserweight champion to become heavyweight king and it was sizzling it was a fabulous performance from Alexander Rusik and Anthony Joshua loses his heavyweight titles but he can have no complaints the judges by five like you by four and a close two rounds there was no doubt it was phenomenal from Alexander Rusik tonight it was a game plan from start to finish executed mat to precision yeah it, it's a shame for Joshua but you have to commend Alexander Rusik an absolutely first class boxing it was just a master class an absolute technician a magician he's his footwork, his change of angles, he, 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 his variety going body and head. Anthony Joshua back to his dressing room. And a very hard 12-rounder in many ways, mentally and physically. And uh, although the, the crowd is shocked and obviously British fight fans devastated about Anthony Joshua's defeat, you, you can only honour this man and... 19-0, the heavyweight champion, having unified the cruiserweight division. He's a lovely guy, he's an intelligent man, a dad of three. He's won our hearts as well, hasn't he, oh, de Definitely, uh, you know, he, he never allowed Joshua's physical advantages to become a factor in the fight. He never became a physical fight, his movement, his feints, the, his lateral movement in and out. He never allowed Joshua to get hold of him or make it a physical fight. It was a boxing match through and through, and that's because he made it a boxing match. He dictated the terms in there, he bossed it. Four belts for Alexander Usyk, WBA Super, IBF, WBO, IBO, and the WBC will be contested in a four nights time. Anthony Joshua returning with his team to the dressing room. Loses for the second time in his life. But he'll be back. He'll return to the drawing board. He's a fighter through and through. He just lost to the better boxer tonight. Alexander with Andy. This is it. Alexander. The undisputed cruiserweight champion, now the unified heavyweight champion. Just how much does this mean to you? He was an undisputed champion and now he's a unified super difficult. What does it mean for you? How much? Very much. This means much for me, a lot. With two Olympic gold medalists, we always expected a very technical boxing match. Did the fight go the way that you thought it would? С двумя олимпийскими чемпионами в ринге мы всегда ожидаем высокотехнический матч. Прошла, прошел ли бой именно так, как ты предполагал? Он прошел именно так, как я предлагал, предполагал. 
Было пару моментов от Энтони, когда он зажимал, но это, это незначительные вещи. The fight went exactly the way I expected it to go. There were a couple of moments when Anthony pushed me hard, but just nothing special. Did you feel that you were close to forcing the stoppage in the 12th and final round? Ты ощущал, что уже близок к тому, чтобы остановить бой в последнем 12-м раунде? Не было такой задачи. Вначале где-то я это хотел сделать, попал, кинулся, но потом мой тренерский штаб привел меня в чувство. I had no objective to knock him out. Because uh, my trainers, my corner, uh, pushed me not to do that. So at the beginning, I hit him hard and just tried to knock him out. But then my trainer said, just stop and do your job. I know that you never listen to them and you only listen to your team. But there were questions. Can Alexander Usyk be a heavyweight? Is he big enough to be a heavyweight? Is he good enough to be a heavyweight? Does that answer all of those questions in your mind? Uh, я знаю, ты не сильно слышишь людей, которые сомневаются, ты слушаешь только сво свою команду. Uh, но ответил ли ты этим боем на вопрос, достаточно ли ты большой для uh, супертяжелого веса? Достаточно ли ты вообще боец для супертяжелого веса? Единственное, что я хотел сделать, это прославить своего Господа Иисуса Христа вот этим боем и сказать, что все, слава Богу, и победа это от Него. The only thing I wanted to do with this fight is to give praise to uh, my Lord, Jesus Christ, and to say that all comes from him. I can see your wife in the background and your family at home. Have you got a message for everyone back in Ukraine who was watching? Мы видели здесь твои друзья и члены твоей семьи. Есть ли у тебя послание для людей, которые смотрят? Я хочу передать привет своей дочери Елизавете. Hey, my baby, I love you, Kirill, Mikhail. I send you hello. Uh, listen, uh, today, 12 uh, years ago, my wife sent me yes. Today, double happy. Today, 12. It's your wedding anniversary today. Yes. Yes. 12 years wedding anniversary. Congratulations. Yes. Just one more before I let you go. We were told in the build-up that there is a rematch clause. Do you think Anthony Joshua will invoke that rematch? Will you come back here for the rematch? We knew from the beginning that there is a point of revenge. Tell me, please, Anthony Joshua will return to fight or repeat? At this moment, I want to go home because I have been preparing for this January month. I was very hard to get ready for this fight and I was very little with my family. Я очень сильно соскучился за своими детьми. Я хочу наблюдать, как они балуются, как они кричат, как они пачкают одежду. Я хочу все это наблюдать. Looking forward to this translation because you're pulling a face here, Alex Krasiuk. Yes. Uh, so I've been working so hard since January for preparing in preparation for this fight. It took me some half a year, and I didn't see my family for so long. I miss my children. I miss watching them playing. I want to go home, I want to stay with my family, I want to be happy with them, and I'm not thinking about the rematch at the moment. Final question then, can you be better? And Have we seen the best of you, or can you be even better? You didn't see the best, Usyk. I can be much better. And the new heavyweight champion of the world sounds pretty good. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just stay with me. I'm just going to have a very quick word. Miley. I hope you don't mind, Vitaly, from one former heavyweight champion to a new Ukrainian heavyweight champion. You must be incredibly proud of your fellow countrymen. It's an excellent fight. Very clever. It's, uh, I'm very happy. And uh, actually, Alexander do it. Perfect job. Саша, умница, 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 ты молодец, ты молодец, молодец. Зашиться нужно будет. How do you think this victory will be received in Ukraine? Uh, everybody happy. It's whole country excited. It's actually chance uh, after Vladimir Klitschko, it's uh, second heavyweight champion who take whole belts. And it's actually perfect result and we happy very, very much. Enjoy the victory. I hope you have a good party. Loma, Loma, very quickly, we are live. Yeah. I am sorry. Yeah. Just very briefly. You must be over the moon, very, very happy for your great friend. I congratulations my friend Alexander. It was great performance. It was historical fight. Now he is in a 
big history, boxing history and world history for me. Did you always think that he could do that at heavyweight? Now, yes, sure. <laughs> it was great performance. Listen, it's great to have you back on our screens. We'll be seeing you on Sky Sports in December. Yeah, my, my fight will be December 11 in New York, so see you soon. Loma, thanks very much. Enjoy the party. Very much looking forward to that fight, but what a fight we have just seen. Take a bow, Alexander Usyk, an absolute masterclass from him. Chris, has he just announced himself on the heavyweight scene tonight? I mean, he's, he's made the biggest statement in boxing for a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm uh, flabbergasted. I did not see the fight going that way in any, in any way, shape or form. He proved all the doubt was wrong. Uh, he's only been it's only his third fight at, at heavyweight, and he took on the best in the world, and he, and he and he put on a masterclass. So, full full credit to the guy. I mean, he certainly impressed you, Josh. I know that for a fact. You had him winning by a country mile. Yeah, I had him winning a country mile. I scored at nine rounds to three. Um, just a boxing clinic, you know. It was um, an absolutely brilliant performance. Outclassed Joshua, outmaneuvered him, outboxed him. Sometimes even outfought him, and was almost close to getting the stoppage there in the twelfth round. So. Yeah, that's, that's a massive statement there. He's, he's a brilliant, brilliant fighter. I'm not, and again, I've said that before the fight, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Usyk got the win. And I wouldn't be surprised if Usyk got the stoppage. He almost did, because he's got that kind of talent and skill. And uh, he's, proved that, he's proved that he belongs up there with the best of them. You know what, Johnny? Credit to both fighters this evening. They both boxed outstandingly, but Usyk was just phenomenal. Clearly, the heir apparent. Yeah. I agree with uh, uh, Joshua's uh, scorecard where I had it, where he was. I, I had Joshua winning three rounds, the rest to Usyk. Um, the better man won. And I'm quite sure when you get into uh, interview with AJ, he'll say exactly the same. The better man won. I boxed him, I beat him in every department. Um, could he fix on that? Could he improve on that? I don't know. Tactics might have to be different. But it was a, a good, clean fight. I think he just got beaten by the better man. There's no argument to say. There's no no discussion or no dispute. The better man won. All week, people have been sort of saying, well, is surely just going to knock him out. They haven't really, the general public have said, didn't really quite understand how tough a test Usyk was going to be. And that's just proved it. But you've got to give Anthony Joshua credit. Definitely. Because he's gone 12 rounds with this guy that is is, is top draw. And, and if you do your homework and check Usyk out, He's top draw, yeah. and uh, it's, 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 it, you know you're thinking Anthony Josh is going to pull this off because he's got that heavyweight strength. He's got everything to do. You know what? That wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough because Usyk was comfortable enough to box bash and, and give what he took. So you know, again, you know, you can't complain. That's how it falls. Yeah, we were asking how effective Usyk could be in those those questions.